everyone this is a uh, one more important topic from our ncert textbook that is phycomycetes so from the textbook class 11th biology textbook so phycomycetes topic is there this is uh, this has been explained in detail word by word please watch the video till the end so first sentence here is in this paragraph members of phycomycetes are found in aquatic habitats and on decaying wood in moist and damp places are as obligate parasites on plants so in this sentence phycomycetes aquatic habitats damp places obligate parasites these words we have to understand let us see phycomycetes what is meant by phycomycetes this word phycomycetes is derived from two other words one is a phycus one is a phycus another is mycetes another is a mycetes here ficus means alga mycetes means fungus alga plus fungus are algae like fungi so we call these ones as a phycomycetes alga like fungi they resemble algae but they are in fact fungi so this kind of organisms are called phycomycetes you can see these are the phycomycetes organisms different fungi in this category next thing is aquatic habitats aqueous means water aquatic habitats habitat means the living places the living places of fungi or water bodies so this kind of uh, habitats are called aquatic habitats there are also some kind of fungi live some kind of phycomycetes may live so damp places damp means moist places especially under the shade of trees the soil is very damp very moist where phycomycetes fungi can grow so next one important word is obligate parasites here obligate means the word comes from obligation duty or oblige so obligate means must and should parasites parasites means organisms which uh, depend on the living cells which depend on the living cells at the expense of the host so obligate parasites it totally it means organisms which cannot live in the absence of host cells that means if a host cell dies if a host cell is not there if the host is not available this uh, fungi will die so that's why we call them as obligate parasites some phycomycetes fungi are obligate parasites on a certain kinds of host cells so next thing is the sentence is the mycelium is aseptate and cenocytic two important words here again aseptic uh, cenocytic so a means absent so aseptate septar absent septar absent septum means cross wall septum means cross wall if wall is present in between the nuclei we call as a septum so if septa or absent we call aseptate cenocytic cenocytic means cytic means cell cell with a number of nuclei or we can call simply cenocytic as multi nucleate condition many nuclei are present in the hypha so like this so aseptate and cenocytic here you can see no cross walls are there the hypha consists of number of nuclei that blue dots indicate nuclei this kind of hypha is called aseptate and cenocytic hypha so phycomycetes fungi consists of aseptate and cenocytic hypha hypha we know hypha means a hair like a uh, hair like a colorful or colorless 
thallus of the fungus is called hypha plural is hyphae ye mass of hyphae is called mycelium all these things we studied in the last video so here aseptic and cenocytic multinucleate cells are multinucleate hyphae are present so next thing one sentence is asexual reproduction takes place by zoospores uh, motile or by aplanospores non motile important words here asexual reproduction zoospores and aplanospores let us see what are these things so asexual reproduction reproduction without fusion of gametes so this is a kind of vegetative reproduction where no involvement of a sexual cells is a required that kind of reproduction is called asexual reproduction you can see here spores are formed uh, that black dots are spores so they are responsible for a, a propagation of the species propagation of the species so next thing is zoo spores zoon means animal spore means propagating cell zoo spores zoon means animal animal means which has a movement which has mobility which has motility so zoo spores are motile spores are movable spores spores which can swim uh, through water uh, they are called as motile spores here you can see a uh, flagellum is present on each uh, two flagella are present so uh, spores with the flagella are called as uh, zoo spores because uh, they swim freely in water next thing is aplanospores a uh, again a uh, means absent plano plano means movement where uh, spores in which there is no movement that means they don't have flagella or cilia we call this kind of spores as non motile spores or aplanospores here in this slide you can see number of spores are there but they do not have flagella they cannot swim in water they are simply carried by wind currents and water currents this kind of spores are called aplanospores so next is sentence here is these spores are endogenously produced in sporangium so three words spores endogenously sporangium let us see what are these words spores spore means cells formed for asexual reproduction are minute cells which are released by the fungus so which are used for a uh, asexual reproduction or the multiplication of the species without the involvement of gametes here you can see spores this we can call as a these cells we can call as a spores next thing is endogenously endus means inside genus or generous or gener or generation means formation if something forms a internally internally born endogenously if you see here you can see sporangium is there uh, within this sporangium spores are formed here spores are not formed outside the hypha or outside the sporangium they are formed inside the sporangium that's why we call them as endogenously endogenously so next thing is sporangium spore producing structure in fungi is called sporangium this is uh, a swollen or bulb like structure in which number of uh, spores are there we call them as a uh, sporangium we can call them as a sporangium so next thing is zygospore is formed by fusion of two gametes these gametes are similar in morphology isogamous or dissimilar anisogamous or oogamous here important words are zygospore gametes uh, morphology isogamous anisogamous oogamous let us see gamete gamete the word comes from game game means here fusion or union or marriage the sexual cells which fuse to form a zygote or zygospore are called gametes gametes means sexual cells so like this if two cells are there they are going to unite to form uh, a fertilization product we can call these cells as a gametes next thing is zygospore zygo the word comes zygote or fused product or fusion cell a fused cell zygospore spore which is formed out of 
the fertilized zygote is called a zygospore or sexual spore like this uh, when two gametangia come together so here are uh, two male and female plus or minus strains they fuse together to form a, a hard spore like structure we can call this as a zygospore so next thing here is morphology the word come from morphy morphy means form or appearance or in other words study of a form of an organism is called morphology here morphy means form logos means study the study of the form of an organism is called morphology so here different uh, uh, forms of uh, gametes are there so we can uh, consider them as morphology the external appearance they are equal in size they are dissimilar in a uh, appearance or they are dissimilar in a uh, uh, strains so on that basis we call morphology the appearance of the uh, gametes so here isogamy here iso means similar gamus means fusion if fusion occurs or fertilization occurs between two similar gametes we call it as a isogamy iso means similar gamus means fusion another thing is anisogamy aniso means unequal dissimilar gamy means fusion fertilization so anisogamy means fertilization between a small and a bigger gamete that means two dissimilar gametes like this a very big gamete is there that is we consider as a female gamete very small gamete is that we consider as a male gamete if fusion occurs between two dissimilar gametes we call it as a anisogamy next oogamy o o the word comes from a ovum ovum means egg if fertilization takes place between egg and a sperm or fertilization between motile and non motile gametes movable gametes or non movable gametes we call this fertilization as a oogamy so here oogamy you can see egg and sperm are like a cells are there fertilization occurs between ovum or egg and a sperm like cell is called oogamy these are the important uh, terminology what we have studied in uh, under phycomycetes next thing is uh, some common examples are mucor rhizopus the bread mold mentioned earlier and albugo the parasitic fungi on a mustard here important words mucor rhizopus albugo mustard let us see what they are first thing is mucor this is a the phycomycetes fungus alga like fungus we call this as mucor the uh, common pill mold common pill mold means so when they come out of the moist soil or damp soil they look like a uh, have pins head pins like things so this way that's we call common pill mold the genus name is mucor so next slide you can see rhizopus rhizopus it is commonly called bread mold so whenever bread is kept in a moist and a damp dark warm places moist and dark places that develops a, uh, this kind of fungus that is nothing but a rhizopus mustard one word is there mustard is the scientific name of sorry mustard is a, uh, the common name for brassica nigra so this is a common uh, condiment used in our houses uh, this is a mustard plant so we call this plant as mustard its scientific name is brassica nigra so this brassica nigra is a host for a, one genus of phycomycetes called albugo white rust of mustard so like this white pustules are formed on leaves of mustard plant so this is a fungus uh, if uh, this is a a cross section of the leaf is a cut and seen under a microscope it has a this kind of fungus uh, uh, pod fungus outgrowth fungus uh, structure mycelia spore conidia all these things we call this genus as a albugo so so in this uh, video we have learnt different kinds of uh, uh, sentences and their uh, uh, the important keywords and their meanings so let us see what they are once we can recapitulate so phycomycetes 
algae like fungi aquatic habitats means water habitats damp places means moist places obligate parasite means which cannot live in the absence of host cells next thing is aseptic and cenocytic uh, multinucleate uh, hyphae uh, asexual reproduction reproduction without fusion of gametes zoo spores means motile spores aplanospores means non motile spores spores cells formed for asexual reproduction endogenously means internally born a sporangium spore producing structure gametes sexual cells zygospore sexual spore morphology means appearance or form isogamy fertilization between two similar gametes anisogamy fertilization between a small and a bigger gamete oogamy fertilization between egg and sperm next thing is mucor common pin mold rhizopus bread mold mustard brassica nigra albugo white rust of mustard so these are the terms so i hope you have understood this topic very well word by word uh, uh, let us start uh, have an another video on the next topic okay ma thank you very much